Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our PHP admin panel series. So now guys, in this video, we are going to start the services. Okay. So services is basically nothing but our device services, what we are making the project. Done guys. So now guys, let's get started. So as simple, let's move to this services and here it is services.php. So let's move inside our admin panel. Let me close everything go inside admin folder let's right click create a file services.php and then guys we are going to copy a normal standard imports so control a close the file control all and select and paste the code and let's change according to our requirements so here services and services hyphen create dot php and tell that add services and then only name and status and action we are going to show total four and let us remove this we do not require currently so we'll remove it now guys let us just check the output of it let's move refresh perfect so now guys let's click on this and create a service create dot php file so let's right click create the file header and footer let's copy from this service.php completely and paste it so guys here we'll tell add services this is going to be your back button back and the button danger here you go to services.php and remove this complete table design and start with your form so let's go on the form action and add a method which is post and this it's going to the code.php and now guys we are going to begin with margin bottom 3 where the label the name of the service like service name input dot form hyphen control where this is going to be a name that is service name which is required okay and let us copy this and paste again for the small description small description and it's going to be a text area guys so it's not an input box let's copy this and paste here small description a row will be three and no space guys here let's copy this again and make for the long description and here you can mention only description or long description also is fine and now let's paste here image so let me control x copy this first input paste here and it's going to be a type of file and here the service image and let's change upload image i mean service image so here it's going to be the form control required it's not mandatory also you can ignore that and now guys let us copy this again and paste here so now it's a h5 tag seo tags and then add a meta description and then i mean you need to take this meta description and it's not required let's copy and paste keyword which is meta keyword the same and guys if you require the title also like if you don't want to use this service name as a title you can create your own custom title here which will be used in your front end page so meta title also you can give and here make it to meta title now let us copy this again and paste for the status that i need to show this status or not okay so by default checked equal to hidden unchecked equal to visible okay and gives a br tag just make it the checkbox and it's a status 
not required and here you are not going to use a class and width colon 30 px height colon 30 px okay save it and now guys finally a submit button margin bottom 3 button to the end button save service design the button button hyphen primary the button type it's going to be a submit let's save it and now guys let's check the output of it okay so refresh here cool service name description long description upload the service image seo tags and finally these two okay status and your save service button so once you click on this you need to go to the that is your code.php with the method post so let's go there and write the code for this let's move to the code.php and let's start from here if is set dollar underscore post method of your save service let me minimize this and here the button name i have not given save service let's copy this and get back and paste here and then guys you need to get your service name name equal to dollar underscore post method of name so that is service name and i need to validate this input so validate the input and then get the name so same way guys we need to get all the input fields let me divide these pages and get all the input names so here small description small description long description and then file that i mean the image so image part we have to check about the uploading so right now skip that and now let's get with other field that is meta title then description and the keyword okay and one more thing guys that is your status so let's paste here status if it is true then one else zero okay that's it and now let me close this file let's get back so we have got the all the inputs and now let's write the query so where you'll tell insert into the table name that is services okay open and close bracket and values open and close bracket so now guys you need to create a services table so let's go to our database and we don't have a services table let's click on new and create the table okay so guys first will be your id integer of 11 and the attribute will be unsigned then index primary key and auto increment okay then the service name varchar of 255 and then next will be your slug slug means the service name which is going to be a varchar and it will be 300 then guys we need to check all the input fields so here we have small description 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so we need more six columns and now let's click on go so we need to add all the fields let me copy this small description and let me paste all the input field guys and show you the output okay so i have added all the field names column names and now let us define the types varchar which will be 500 it's null option and here medium text not int medium text okay and here accept the nullable image you are going to select varchar of 100 and meta title you are going to select varchar of 500 and here meta description also max it will be like 500 or you can give 1000 also for your safety and yep the same with the keyword 1000 and it's all null okay so you can allow nullable here for these details and if you want you can keep the title as mandatory okay 
So you can skip this nullable for the title and status is tiny integer which is one that is checking true or false. By default it's going to insert zero value which is zero equal to visible visible one equal to hidden okay and now let's save the table perfect so we have created the table guys now we can just browse and copy this complete line and paste inside your services first bracket and let's separate them by comma okay done so now guys and here let me break this value and let us copy this complete bracket and paste it for this values let's paste here and the same name i have created for all the variables okay the variable are same so what we'll do we are just going to add a single quote and create as a dollar i mean create as a variable single quote again dollar single quotes again dollar so it will be helpful for time saving okay single quote again dollar let me break it so again single quotes dollar done done so this is our insert code and now let's run this query so create a variable called result equal to with the help of mysql query you are going to run the above query so dollar connection and dollar query as simple now once the result is saved i mean true you are going to tell and redirect them back so let me copy from above copy and paste in the else condition copy and paste and change the page redirection so which is going on the social i mean the services.php so control d services.php and here services added successfully and here it will be something went wrong all done so now guys here we see the slug variable and the image variable so there are two things to be changed over here okay let's so slug equal to dollar name so this service name only we will create as a slug but how the slug is going to look you need to add this code to replace some contents so first we are going to convert all the data to lowercase and replace all the space with the hyphen okay that is minus so we are replacing it and making as a slug and then we are inserting into a database so now guys coming to the image part so first we need to check whether the image is uploaded or not okay so for that you need to check in a if condition dollar underscore files of image okay so if you are using files then you need to also add one attribute inside your form tag that is enc type multi-part form data okay so this is the main attribute guys to accept or upload the image from your form submit okay so if you don't add this you are not going to upload any of the image now let's move so now you can access that file so image of i'm going to check its size so its size is greater than zero then you will tell yes else you can mention the final image let me create a final image equal to null so by default it's null and let's control x and paste here okay so here dollar underscore file of image that file name so now we got the file image let's create the path dollar path equal to double quotes i need to upload in one folder so where is that folder let's come out 
inside assets i will create one folder called uploads so inside this uploads create a folder called services inside this services we will push all the files so first step what we'll be doing we'll go one step back go one step back then go to assets then uploads and from that uploads you upload in that services forward slash okay and then guys we are going to check the image extension also so dollar img extension equal to use a path info function and use this variable to check and path and now guys let's create the file name equal to use our times function and concatenate with dot dot again the image extension and then guys you can use this final image variable where you can use this variable file name okay and now let us copy this and paste in the code for insert so where is that image here you can utilize this final image okay if you don't find any image upload then you are going to accept null if you find the image then you are going to give the image and push the code okay and now guys let us move the images inside this path okay so for that you can just come here on this successful of result you need to push the images inside that folder so use a move upload files function dollar underscore files of your image where you will tell temp tmp temp underscore name and give comma so this file where you want to push inside the path so let's tell that dollar path dot the file name so file name okay so now guys here you see that it is asking for this path it's going and taking that file name and pushing it okay by the file name it is creating and pushing it and the one more thing guys like i just do want to call the static path again and again so what we'll do we will copy this and we will push this with the final image okay so we'll keep it like this so it will be very easy to access our images from the front end side okay so now guys one more validation here you have to do about if if you don't upload the image so what in that case so it will just run this query simply right so for that you can use to like this if it is coming image has uploaded then only move the image else you can just continue with the redirect okay so it's very simple and now guys if you want to do the image validation like upload the only jpg image or png image you can do from here coding also or else you can continue with the patterns using the html attribute okay so let me just show you how we can do the image extensions also okay so first we'll create one variable called image file types use a string to lower str to lower function where you will get the image path so let me copy this and paste here okay and now we need to check this in a if condition if this file types not equal to the uploaded jpg okay if you want to check more and and use jp eg again and and use for png and now guys here if it doesn't matches then you are redirecting him back let's copy this and paste here like redirect sorry only jpg j jpeg and png images only okay let's save it and now guys let's try to add one service okay let's move back so for service let me tell apple device services 
let me add the small description here let's copy and paste for the long description let's upload one image that is an image let's open that and now guys for the SEO title you can just add this the ad services and here the meta description and meta keyword let's save it click services added successfully let us see whether it's added or not so let's refresh our table perfect guys so here you see that all the details has been added and the image path also has been added correctly now we need to check the image is pushed or not so let's go inside the folder of assets upload services inside services we see that we have one image that is apple image awesome guys so we have successfully inserted the data with the image for this services okay so now guys let's continue next video about how to fetch the data and edit update the data too so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share